Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about um, The Stranger written by Albert Camus. Now before I go into the summary and analysis of this novel, please remember to leave a like, subscribe and or comment so that the channel can reach more people. So um, I'm going to be giving you guys my two cents, my two pennies worth of what happens in this novel, of what I think about it um, and pretty much analyzing it. Um, so you guys can get an understanding of what this novel is about. Um, so basically, this novel starts with us um, looking at the life of um, a man by the name of Mersal. Mersal is this individual that's kind of like going through life on autopilot. Um, he does everything, um, you know, one after the other. He doesn't put a lot of um, thinking or a lot of meaning behind things. Um, in the beginning of the novel, we see him going to his mother's funeral. He's not crying. He's not wailing. He's not um, losing his mind like uh, most people would when they've lost someone that is um, important to them, when they lost, um, when they lose somebody that they love. Um, Mersault is just, he's just going about it um, because he has to. He doesn't, you know, he's not mad. He's not angry. He's not not really sad or you don't really notice that he's um, in the state of melancholy he's just going through the motions um, when he shows up to the funeral home um, he doesn't look at his mother's body he doesn't um, you know allow them to open the casket for him to see his mother for um, one more time um, he drinks coffee he smokes a cigarette which the society that he lives in um, see as disrespectful they, they he does a lot of things at the the funeral home um near his grandmother um his mother's casket um that are just disrespectful that um they're not accepted by society so the novel goes on after his mother is buried um he goes back to work he just lives his life just like he was living it um, he meets this girl by the name of Marie. Marie is this girl. She loves life. She loves uh, movies. She loves, um, you know, going to the beach, swimming, and just having a good time. She's a young girl. Um, she wants to be married. I mean, right after, um, you know, this doesn't even take a month or, or a week after um, his mother dies. Um, great, uh, Michelle just, like, he just goes and starts a relationship and he's just having a good time he's not crying he's not reflecting on anything he just continues on with his life um and so he begins this relationship with marie um, her full name is marie cardona um so they they just have a relationship and you know they're they're sleeping together they're just having um fun they're they're young and marie um asks Marcel several times you know do you love me do you want to get married um, and in the novel, Marcel just says, like, you know, I don't have a reason not to. Um, he's not, like, head over heels for Marie. He's like, you know, if we're going to get married, we can get married. Um, he's not a guy that puts a lot of weight, a lot of meaning behind things. Um, another person that Marcel meets that starts to, um, in a way, ruin his life. Um, and I say that from our perspective. I don't think um, Marcel sees this um, from his perspective. As the reader, when you go through this novel, the things that happen to Mersault, um, as a reader, you're saying, man, you know, this individual is ruining his life. This individual is doing all the wrong things. Um, Mersault doesn't particularly believe that. Um, he's an individual that doesn't really um, believe that there is a meaning to life. So Mersault becomes friends with um, Raymond. Um, Raymond is, you know, he said he's like the security guard, but he's really not. Um, he's pretty much a pimp. Um, and in fact, during the novel, there's this mistress that, um, Raymond tells Mersault, um, to write a letter for him so he can send that letter to the mistress, um, so that pretty much Raymond wants to teach the mistress a lesson. Um, and he does, um, he gets in trouble with the law, uh, for that, um, and, you know, Marcel doesn't even bat an eye. He just does whatever Raymond wants. Um, Marcel helps Raymond out with several things. Um, Marcel just becomes best friends with Raymond, this individual that does a lot of bad things, this individual that um, is not particularly on um, a right path. And Marcel just follows him um, and he, he helps Raymond out as his friend. So the novel continues and... 
there's some trouble that takes place um you know after raymond um gets in trouble with the law um the mistress's brother um he's an arab and during this one um kind of like getaway because uh, Mersault, Raymond, and Marie, they go to the beach, they go see um, a group of their friends, um, they're having a good time, they're, they're eating together, they're just, they're just enjoying life, um, and while they're at the beach, while they're out for a walk, um, Mersault and Raymond, they kind of like get in the path of um, these Arabs, this group of Arabs, and the, this group of Arabs, they're kind of like keeping track of Raymond throughout the novel because um, one of the Arabs, of course, is the brother of the mistress um, that, you know, Raymond taught a lesson that Raymond beat up. Um, and he kind of like wants to make Raymond pay. He, 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 he you know, there's revenge. So um, there's an altercation. Um, Raymond gets injured. Um, after Raymond gets injured, um, he goes and gets patched up. He comes back with a gun. Marcel takes the gun away from him, and he tries to make Raymond cool down. Raymond cools down, but Marcel has the gun, and he goes for a walk. Um, he doesn't really go to commit murder or to kill the Arab, uh, but you know he had the gun in his hands, and when he uh, meets the Arab on the beach, um, the Arab sees um, Marcel coming, um, and what he does is he takes out this knife. Um, the sun kind of like reflects off the knife, um, and Mersault, you know, you know, it's hot. They're on the beach. It's it's really hot, um, and the glare gets in his eyes. It's it's just um, we we can get deeper into the um, to the analysis of what this means and what happens um, in the novel. But in this instance, Ray, um, Mersault just kind of like gets irritated by the sun and the heat. Um, he has the gun in his hands and he kind of he shoots. Um, the, the Arab, um, he shoots him once and then he shoots him extra times, um, which, you know, he was already dead. So it kind of made no sense why he kept on shooting. So this is um, horrific and, you know, it's murder. So the law quickly gets into this and now um, Mersolve gets arrested uh, and now he's, he's fa facing punishment for killing the Arab. Um, the novel continues. Next we see... Um, Result in, in jail, um, you know, and it really gets bad. It really gets bad because Mersault doesn't really believe in anything. He doesn't believe um, in Christianity or in any religion for that matter. Um, he's an individual. Again, he doesn't really put meaning behind things. Um, and so the magistrate, his lawyer, um, the legal system just, they, they are completely appalled by Mersault because he just seems to have no character. Um, when they go through his trial, pretty much throughout the entire trial, what happens is that um, they question his character and the things that he's done wrong in his past. Um, during his trial, they mostly talk about how he behaved when he was burying his mother and that he didn't really care about his mother and that his actions um, showed that he wasn't of uh, an individual of good character. Um, so that really reflected badly um, from Mersault. And honestly, um, it seems as if that he was convicted um, based on his character rather than his actions for uh, killing the Arab. Um, so um, at the end of the novel, Mersault gets um, sentenced to death um, and there's no way out of it. He pretty much dies at the end of the novel, um, which pretty much ruins his not really his dreams, but his potential future with uh, Marie. Um, Raymond pretty much disappears. You know, he wasn't um, committed to his friendship with um, Mersault forever. Um, Mersault was the individual that killed the Arab, and Raymond is not going to, um, you know, make his name, put his name in a worse situation because of Mersault. Mersault is the only individual that just does things um, for people that pretty much don't even care about him. Um, so Mersault is sentenced to death um, even when like um, they try to tell him to, to believe in a religion, to believe in Christianity, to believe in the cross, to believe in this and that. Um, he doesn't. He just he doesn't believe in anything. 
Uh, he's an individual that really goes like he enjoys the things that make him happy in life, the simple pleasures in life, um, and the things that irritate him, the things that annoy him. He doesn't like. That's pretty much um, his outlook in life. And so, because he saw life that way, because he, um, you know, didn't think twice about killing someone and didn't think twice about helping Raymond get revenge on people, um, you know, his life ended badly. So let's go into the analysis and just talk about what this novel um, says um, in its entirety. Um, this novel has a lot to say about meaning um, and how we define life. Um, in society, we have um, individuals, families, um, people in society. We define life by our principles, by um, the things that um, the things that kind of like give gives life meaning, right? Um, for people, it's the, their loved ones, being with their loved ones, um, completing a certain task or standing up for something in the world. Or um, it could be art, it could be music, it could be, um, a, a, you know, an entirety of things. Um, humans, we, we try our best throughout um, our time on the earth to give our life meaning, to understand why we live, or if we don't understand why we, we are alive, we try to, to build um, something that has meaning to us. The problem with um, Mershalt is that he basically believed that life was meaningless. Um, and this was really disturbing for um, the magistrate and people um, in the legal system within the novel because they all um, have things that they believe in. Um, especially people in the legal system, they believe in justice. They believe in what's right. Um, so... Um, and in other people, they believe in religion or religion is what gives their life uh, meaning um, or their families or their kids or you know, it goes on and on and on. So there are some social constructs that Mersault doesn't believe in. And there are some things around discipline and um, what you're expected to do that um, Mersault doesn't practice that gets him into trouble and that. Um, makes society as a whole kind of like appalled by him. Um, and Marcel just kind of goes through life saying it really doesn't matter. We're all going to die. Um, you know, there's no point. So I, I do things um, just because I might feel that I want to do them in the moment. Um, even with Marie and Raymond, you know, uh, Marcel basically just says that there's no reason why he should be in love or should not be in love with Marie. There's no reason why he should marry her or not marry her. So he just tells her that we'll get married. Um, same thing with Raymond. Raymond. He's, he's like, I can help him. I cannot help him. There's not really um, any meaning behind it. Um, kind of like we're all going to die. Um, kind of like mindset. That And the same thing goes for the funeral of his mother. He doesn't really shed a tear. He doesn't really um, wail or, you know, loses his mind because, you know, life has a beginning and an end. Um, and none of it is, is meaningful. So that's really um, his perspective on the world. Um, before he died, he, he died, he kind of like thought about his life and the things he liked about life. Um, he tries to think about maybe escaping his fate or um, maybe hoping that he could survive his death penalty. Um, but, you know, after a while, he kind of gives up on that and accepts um, what's going to happen to him. Um, and pretty much that's the novel. That's what happens um, to Mersault, um in his story. Um, I think it says a lot about um, individuals. And as the reader, when you go through this novel, you got to think about um, it kind of makes you think about your own life and how, um, you know, what drives you in life and what gives life meaning for you. For most uh, individuals, for most humans, it's some type of goal. It's some type of dream. And that dream pretty much means everything. And if you don't have that dream, um, you can fall into depression or you might lose your direction in life. And for most people, having some type of goal, having some type of dream, sometimes, you know, people just want to have a lot of money or sometimes people want a certain um, thing that they want to accomplish in life. And accomplishing that thing is the meaning for them or is the thing that gives life meaning for them. Um, but if you don't believe that there is meaning in life or and you can't make a meaning for yourself in life, 
um, it it can seem as if there is no point to it. Um, and Mershon has a lot of um, contradictions or he clashes with a lot of people in the novel because it seems as if everybody has something that they, they're fighting for, something that they believe in. Um, Marie believes in marriage. She believes in kind of like having that kind of family or in just enjoying the simple things in life. Raymond, he's just a hustler. He kind of like thinks with his 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 fists or his his muscle. Um, so he just he tries to beat up the, the the prostitutes or the mistresses that he puts out in the streets. And when people disrespect him, he goes and fights them or um, try to show that he's um, you know a survivor or a hustler in a way. So. Everybody in the novel kind of like has a thing that they believe in or a thing that they, they are going for, except for Mersault. Um, that's why he is a stranger. He's a stranger to society. And I feel like that has a lot to do with the title of the novel because the way he acts, the way he behaves, and the way he sees the world um, is strange to how other people and how other institutions and constructs um, in society view reality and view life. So that is my summary and analysis of the novel The Stranger by Albert Camus. Um, so please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.